Uh, hi, my name is Brian Nichols. I'm going to talk to you about uh, Maxwell, which is in <laughs> version 0.1 after this uh, quick uh, hackathon. Um, uh, here's my contact information if you're interested in that. Uh, but so uh, my idea was based on basically I wanted a, a calorie counter that wasn't a calorie counter, something that makes uh, managing, uh, uh, looking at what kind of foods that you might eat and documenting them uh, real easy. Especially, it's especially useful for people who have really big food allergies or diet restrictions or even just someone who's trying to eat less sugar or uh, drink less often um, or anything like that. And so. Uh, that was the idea that we had here, and so instead of looking, trying to look at um, a large uh, API of food data that, uh, for, for instance, something like that, um, uh, my fitness pal would do, we're just looking at where the where the where your food is coming from, and also what kind of uh, macronutrients and other vitamins are in it. Uh, really, really good stuff. Uh, caffeine is definitely a nutrient. I would say I need it every morning. Uh, and so the big idea of it was, uh, don't fear your food, enjoy it. Uh, these are some uh, uh, coffee cakes that my wife made uh, recently that we've been enjoying. Uh, so let's move on to um, the actual app itself. And so here is, here is uh, the page we can sign in. I'm going to sign in as myself. And we can immediately see that we can uh, log in a meal. And so say I want to have uh, 11Zs with some classmates at a Killarney Rose, which is a really great bar that we enjoy here. I say um, something like, oh, had some fish and chips and a beer. Great. And then we can submit that here. And we have all of our meals down here as well, as well as some foods that are attached to it and, uh, with basic uh, categories, nutrition, and some pictures as well, mostly just placeholders. Uh, we can also see our goals, and we can add more goals. Uh, so for instance, right now, I'm, look, I'm trying to eat less meat. Um, we can also take a look at all the foods in the database, and if there's one that's missing, uh, we can add them to, uh, here. Um, and uh, so jumping back over here, things that we're going to be uh, introducing in the future, we're going to be adding a Google Calendar, so you can just uh, add a new event to your Google Calendar and just list the foods in there that you, uh, that you want, and it'll scrub, it'll scrub uh, your Google Calendar for uh, new meals that you've had, and also graphing everything out in D3 um, are just two big things that are going to be coming into this. I really hope to implement them soon. Um, so thanks very much, uh, and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my presentation.